Hello, I am Chris from Palatech and on this video we are going to learn how to create a Mega Menu using the Max Mega Menu plugin and Ocean WP team. First, we need to go over to Plugins, Add New. And then on the search bar we will type Mega Menu. And we are going to install the Max Mega Menu plugin. It's quite good, I must say, and it's similar in how it works to Elemental Page Builder. Then, once we have it installed, we are going to Appearance Menus. As we can see, we have our previously created menu what we are going to do now is use the max mega menu setting we are going to enable it and here on event we can choose how the menu will react and we are going to select in this case a hover intent and the effect we have a slide fade fade up slide up or known we are going to use the slide the speed of the animation and the effect it might have on the mobile version of the menu and the pin in this case on the free version we have the default only we are going to save those changes and now we are going to add some sections for all our menu we are going to create section one we will add it to the menu and now we are going to create some sections more section two and section three i think those are enough at an example now we are going to hold the left right left left click button and we are going to drop them within as you can see it's not aligned we are going to move it a little bit to the right and we are going to add them as sub items within the home page on the menu and then we are going to here it says mega menu and we are going to click on it as you can see we have some modes of which the sub items the sub menus will be displayed some standard layouts flyout menu and grid layout we are going to use the grid layout in this case we are going to configure our row we can choose the number of columns up until 12 in this case we are going to use 3 and we are going to add a few columns and here we can choose as you can see the distribution of those columns we are going to choose 3 and then we are going to save the menu because it will not show up our sub items if we don't do that and back to the mega menu we can see we have our sections right here so we are going to drop them within the rows we have created since we have this one occupying the three slots we are going to reduce them on point these arrows to one for each of the items like that then we can we have some settings we can hide the text the arrows we are going to hide them we can disable the link and we can hide the items of mobile of desktop then we have the alignment of the menu we are going to let those on default and the position of the icons if we choose to add one the alignment 
of the sub items the right edge of parent over the left and we can hide them on mobile and we have some icons we can add to our menu items we are going to choose this little house and then we are going to save the menu then we will go to the lower left on the sidebar to the mega menu and we are going to menu themes here we can choose the settings we can choose the styles of the arrows of the menu we are going to choose this one the height the set index we can add some fork shadows some hover transitions we can choose the height of the menu bar the background in this case is white add some padding some radius to the borders and top level menu items it's mods of the same the font you have choose a black one the size the family as you can see we can use the transformation the weight of the font the decoration the alignment etc the hover and some background to full effect then we go to the mega menus and here this part is extremely important because if we want the menu to cover the entirety of the screen we need to add the code of the container where the menu is located here where it says otherwise we are going to write hashtag site dash header and in the inner white 100 percent and we can choose the panel backgrounds of the menus padding border radius column padding exactly like in the others the color of the font etc once we have our menu configured we are going to save those changes you can also experiment with the options and play a little bit until your menu is the way you really want and it's perfect for you now we are going to the name of the site and we are going to visit site as you can see we have our menu our menu here with the pointed arrow we have choose as you can see these ones are empty so they don't show anything when I hover the mouse over them but when we go to the home page we can see the sections we have created which are not in really order in this case but they work the same so just like that easily you can have a nice mega menu with very easy and quite similar how we use the Elementor page builder. So that's it. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and share with a friend who might need help on their sites. See you the next time on Paletech.